Grey Wolf 29 bh here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, keep in mind as we go through this video, there are a lot of options and upgrades on this trailer that are not standard equipment. I'll try to point them out as we go. The reason I'm mentioning this is not every single 29 bh is going to look like or be equipped exactly like this one. I like to point that out so that you're not surprised when you show up after driving two and a half hours to get here. And uh, for you folks, you know, shopping us through the internet here, first of all, welcome to Halet. Secondly, uh, you know, I, I want you to be very educated on what you're getting. Now, uh, what you have going on here is a couple things. You have a, a nice, easy operation power awning, push button operated power awning. Um, the other uh, nice thing, oh shoot, I forgot to turn on. Well, you do have a nice blue LED light strip that runs the entire strip of that awning that we've added here. That's going to give this thing just an incredible look at night. Like those guys that have like the cool neon lights under their cars. It looks neat, you know. Um, secondly, you have an easy adjust power awning. You see how easily I'm moving this here. Just one hand. I can bend it down, bend it back, and that is your pitch adjustment on your awning. So if it's raining, you can pitch the awning and you can get some natural runoff. This is pre-prepped for a solar uh, charge. Now, I don't want people to get confused because this is very new in the towable RV industry as uh, you know as a standard item. Uh, this is designed right here for just a trickle battery charge. This is not like a, oh man I'm going to run my air and my refrigerator off solar. That's not what this is. Um, your front pass-through storage here is very big. It's one of the bigger in the in this class, and you notice it does pass through uh, under the bed a bit. The other thing I like to show you is if you lift the bed, it generally gives you a pretty good idea how these things are put together. Notice we see nice, thick wood. We don't see uh, particle board. We don't see uh, press board, anything like that. Uh, you know, we don't see chipboard. It's all real wood. Like you have tongue groove plywood flooring. You have 12 inch on center on average wall studs and floor studs. That is phenomenal. That is one of the best in the business. And that's kind of what this trailer is all about. Um, this is a Forest River product, but saying Forest River is like saying GM, man. They make everything above, below, and in between. And this is their rank and file good soldier floor plan and, and brand right here. This is the thing that, you know, this is the, uh, the, the starter point for a lot of folks and the upgrade point for a lot of folks. Um, things like bigger windows. I don't know if you notice that big tall window on the bedroom here, but here in the slide we have two of the biggest windows you could possibly put in this floor plan. Um, windows and lights are actually two of the highest cost items in uh, to the towable RV business, amazingly. And, uh, you know, more windows means more light, means more airflow, and you're going to want every bit of that you can get. Now, uh, this is a bunkhouse model. We have added the outside kitchen. Normally, this would be four bunks and no outside kitchen. So, we're looking at three bunks with an outdoor kitchen. So, in this version of the floor plan, we have a single, very large uh, outside storage compartment under the off door side bunk. Normally you would get two, uh, one under each side bunk. Uh, we've added the rear travel rack here, and that's also your spare tire holder, by the way. You do not need to take the spare tire off of that to uh, you know, put the rack up and down. Um, this little black job right here, that is a backup camera prep. That does not mean this camper has a backup camera. That means it's pre-prepped to have one mounted. Uh, probably Furion brand, Furion has come on as one of just the premier uh, you know, suppliers of electronic components in the RV industry, and they've been doing a great job of it. Now, uh, what I like about this uh, full outdoor kitchen we've added here, as opposed to the mini outdoor kitchens, a couple things. First of all, the door itself, you see, comes up to act as your rain shield, so if it is a little bit uh, inclement weather, you can still come outside and do your grilling. Secondly, uh, when you do the full outdoor kitchen, you get the full-size uh, refrigerator, or as I call it, Dad's medicine cabinet. Um, you know, so instead of getting the little college kid mini fridge, you get the big college kid mini fridge. <laughs> Notice here in the outdoor kitchen, um, even these drawers are fully plywood box constructed. And they're four-sided boxed, meaning even the front side has a box. Some manufacturers I've seen cheating by just stapling this faceplate to the sideboards, and you can imagine after pulling on this thing three or four times, it's not going to last very well. Now, I've seen some fifth wheel brands where the, the bigger handle poles here are an upgrade. They're standard on a Gray Wolf. Where you're spending your money on a Gray Wolf is the stuff you're going to use and touch and feel every single day. So you're going to get a lot of just instant gratification and long-term justification out of this trailer. Two things you're really looking for. Even outside, and you'll see this train continued inside, you have the nicer resin top countertops here. So there's no seam. So if you're splashing water, if you spill an iced tea, either Long Island or a traditional variety, your choice, 
there's no seam where that can soak in and seep through and cause swelling and bubbling and delamination of your countertops. Notice that they're giving you both a, a nice good sized overhead cabinet here as well as the little spice and storage rack. So usually you get one or the other, here you get both. Not one set, but two sets of GFI protected um, outlets right here. So blenders, griddles, any of that stuff. Perfect place to do all that. Now your little grill cooktop here, two bird variety, and they do give you a spot over here to actually like flip something and then set the spatula down, even a couple little drink holders. How convenient and how, how considerate of them. Uh, outdoor TV station right here. Uh, keep in mind, um, the TV is an option, so it may or may not be included. Always double check the options list. We make uh, a great effort to make uh, to express every extra option beyond the standard model we've added to this thing. Um, so if you uh, if this does include or if you add a TV, it can mount inside on this bracket uh, that matches inside, outside, maybe the bedroom. It can go just about anywhere you want. <coughs> Pardon me. And this is little stuff you need to pay attention to. In this class, there's a lot of cutthroat stuff that people expect you to overlook being a first-time camper who just doesn't know the difference. What we're looking at here is the vent for the outside stove top, uh, or the outside vent for the stove top, rather. This is important because not every camper vents the heat outside when you kick that fan on. Some of them only have a charcoal filter, which is just going to recycle the air and take the smell out. It'll do a good job of that, but it won't take out the heat. Here you're seeing the bigger grab handle. Uh, that's part of, I think, the XL package upgrade bundle that we add to these. Now this is something I like. Looks just like a common door, nothing too fancy, right? But watch this, I can throw this door and it doesn't slap the awning. I can hit it, it won't hit the awning. I can fling it and it won't slam shut. This is a friction sprung hinge. Notice there's no hold back, there's just a stopper. That means that with this style hinge, the door won't slam against the side of the trailer and you can open it all the way uh, so that you get you know the, the full walking space here at your campsite. Uh, I mean, you have to get super friendly with this thing to try to slam it shut. Oh, oh shoot, hold on. Let me go turn on my battery box real quick here. I forgot to turn that on before we started our video and I, I want the lights inside. There we go. On the way through, we'll be able to take a look at the nice little blue LED lights under the awning. And that switch is just right here. There you go, just a nice quick look at those. And at night, against this white backdrop, they're gonna glow and look awesome. So stepping inside here, uh, let me back up a little bit to give you kind of the, the full view of everything. So again, blue LED lights above the slide is something that we've added as an accent. You can turn those off and on, no problem. But just a gorgeous looking living room. And like I said, a good soldier rank and file travel trailer. So it's not only a little more affordable than a lot of the things you run into, it's it's still pretty darn good looking. You don't feel like you have to settle here. Now, a lot of people wonder behind this little jackknife sleeper sofa, what is this? There's an outdoor storage pocket that I didn't touch on when I was outside that I probably should have mentioned. Now that you know, brings this in a little bit, but it also creates the perfect shelf to sit here and sit down and drink. You know, if you're sitting here, Watching TV, you got the perfect spot for a drink right behind you, so you're not gonna drop anything, spill anything, it's easy. This color decor we are looking at is called natural. Uh, keep in mind, the pictures might look different. The pictures are probably the actual color scheme, and again, we do take the time to list that in our listings. The cool wooden plantation blinds here, I think those are part of the XL package, and they just look great. Now, I mentioned the solid surface, or well, not solid surface, but the resin, the engineered molded countertops in the outdoor kitchen, you see you got the same thing here. Uh, you also have the same thing in the bathroom, the same thing at your dinette table. They don't want your tables to fail and get wet and get spongy. Big U dinette can fold down into a seven foot, two inch sleeper. So, a grown person can sleep there if need be. These gigantic mega dinette drawers, these are something that we've added and you can see the obvious awesome benefit of those. It's huge storage and it's easy to get to. If someone's sitting at this dinette, you don't have to say, all right, get up, get your drink, I gotta take the whole darn thing apart. No, you just pull this out, grab your stuff, go back to work. And this is 5 8 uh, plywood. Again, just like the floor, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor. This thing's made uh, to be used. Um, in this class, central air is not always common or standard, so keep an eye out for stuff like that. Centralized air, long story short, uh, we'll just provide better, more even cooling. Here we go. Let me uh, turn some more light on in here. That's a little better. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, moving back here. 
Right across from the bathroom, we have a bonus little either linen or pantry space. Whatever you need it to be, it can be. It could be a combination of both. Quick peek at the bathroom. Very common, you know, travel trailer bathroom. But notice again those same countertops that won't leak on you. And look at this massive medicine cabinet. Uh, that's, that's not an unimportant thing. You want that bigger medicine cabinet so you can keep all your stuff off the countertop. The bigger uh, bathroom fan here is a big deal. Not only does it just push far more air, um, uh, but if, if uh, you're dry camping, this is 12 volt. You can open your windows, you can turn that fan on, you can feel breeze rolling through. So they have a separate fan and skylight here for the shower enclosure. Let's take a quick peek at the bunk area. Like I said, this floor plan can be either four bunks in an outside kitchen or three bunks in an outside kitchen. This is the three bunk with an outdoor kitchen feature. When you have the outdoor kitchen, it adds a little bit of extra storage inside, which is actually a nice benefit, as well as this little handy ladder so the kids can get to the upper bunk. You'll always have this rear little entertainment center here for the kids, and you see that there are TV and power hookups up here, so if you want to throw a little TV or something, if the kids need entertainment on a rainy day, they got it. Uh, you have extra, uh, just like general clothing, shelving storage here for the kids. You'll always have the two bunks on this side, no matter what configuration you go with, but this is really nice. Uh, just, just a little bunkhouse bonus drawer, and the Cherokee family of trailers, Gray Wolf being historically Cherokee's little brother, today they're virtually one and the same, just the Cherokees tend to be the larger floor plans. They've always been really good about adding extra little bonus features like that. Um, looking forward here, again, even with these plantation blinds shut and only a couple lights on, you see that it's still pretty darn bright in here. It's because these extra large windows. Remember I mentioned how windows and lights are two of the more expensive components when building a camper. You know, stuff like this really adds up. Um, the entertainment center here, this cool little, um, you know, false rock look, it just adds nice little earthy element to it, you know, kind of reminds you a little bit, hey, you know, we are camping and, and it is kind of fun that way. Again, you see a matching bracket inside and outside of the camper if you do want to set up an outdoor TV. Um, upgraded stereo system here that uh, also does play DVDs. And something simple, and I love it, a shoe garage. I wish every camper had one of these. Um, do you own a bunkhouse? Do you have a big, ugly, dangerous pile of shoes by the door waiting for you to trip and fall and break your neck? Not anymore you don't. It's that simple. Just the dumbest little thing makes all the world of difference. And I've had people call and say, God, I wish my camper had that. That's so cool. Um, Mom and Dad will enjoy the fact that you don't have curtains. You have doors for privacy. And one more big important feature, I, at least I think it is, up here in the bedroom. Both sides of the bed have a nice little stand with a power outlet charge your phones, run your CPAP machines, your alarm clocks, all that stuff right there in handy. And again, look at these big giant windows. And all of, and even the windows in here, they don't have the plantation blinds. They do have the nicer cloth shades though. So you have light when you want it, privacy when you want it, you have everything in here. Give us a call and learn a little bit more. 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camp.